Welcome back, everyone. It's Abdallah with another exciting episode of Bravely Default. How are you guys doing today? All right, hopefully everything is going okay with you and you guys are enjoying the series as much as I am. If you guys are, hit that like button and show your support. Definitely helps out. Thank you. All right, so as I was right about to kind of do a, a quick cut over to going back to town, as soon as I entered the cave, it triggered a cutscene with uh, this crazy little floating fairy and uh, one of these ladies, Victoria. You, woman! Huh? With the vapid look, yes. Oh my! Now whatever is a little girl like you doing out all by herself at this hour? I hear you're thought to be the likely winner of the upcoming Sacred Flower Festival. I am! Aren't I pretty? Now, if you want to grow up to be pretty like me, you need your beauty sleep! <laughs> Idiotic plebe. Now, that's not very. Uh, a slip of the hand. I demand only to mar that lovely face. <laughs> they really are such fragile things. Like plucking a flower, and flowers so beg to be plucked. The ease of it all is a terrible bore. Don't you agree, Victor? Just so, Victoria. Just so. <laughs> Let us hope these vestals to the crystals are more entertaining. By my data, the likely runner-up ought to be strolling past soon. Shall we say hello, Victoria? Wow. Alright, so I guess it looks like we're going to be running through here. Alright, our encounter rate's negative 100. Let's move on. Just gotta breeze right through. Man, and at the same time, I gotta go off screen all the way back to the Wind Temple and get that last uh, Wind Summon from Alakazam on that second floor. <laughs> Uh, I think we have a couple abate wins. I don't know. But we gotta be able to survive it. And I know the item Mage Shell would definitely help out with that. Oh, here we go. Something opened up. Or, no, this was the way out. Got it. All entrance to the Central Plaza. The 47th Annual Sacred Flower Festival is set to begin. We're in time. And you've really decided not to go with this sexy swimsuit? Wait, you still have that? I'm quite certain, thank you. I'll wear the vessel garb, as tis suggested. This is your last chance to rethink it. Agnes, I still think the world deserves to see the Bravo. Unacceptable. <laughs> Has history ever seen so sad a day as this? No, I say, surely not. Oh. No one who matters is sad, Ringbell. <sighs> Are you nervous? I know it's scary standing up in front of a crowd this size. But don't be scared. We'll be close by, keeping watch. Thank you. Hearing that does lift a weight from my shoulders. Good. Now relax and go get him. All right, got to see that Bravo bikini. <laughs> All right, let's do this. All right, let's save. Ooh, my friend bot has been updated. Thanks. All right, wonderful. We're almost done, like, maxing out all these things in Narende, too. Let's see. Uh, I've got an hour and 26 minutes. I need more people! The only thing I really maxed out was this one. The sword shop. Melodish shirt? Hmm. Maybe it's, like, alternate outfits or something. We'll have to find out. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There's someone over here. Who's this? What? I didn't recognize this person. Well, hello. Quite the dashing little dandy, eh, my friend? 
But pray, mistake me not. I've no interest in children, and still less in men. But yes, this is quite the merry band. Two boys, two girls. Double date, is it? Double date? How charmingly hot-blooded. Ah, youth, look at me. You're making old red blush. Ah, beg your pardon. That was no criticism. I'm proud, envious even. Hard to believe I was that young once. Time's remorseless arrow, eh? Now look at me. Just a sad pile of bones and flab and tarnished dreams. I'd be happy to tear those bones up any night, De Rosa. Stop it. We've got kids watching. Curious. I feel a reflexive, uncontrollable revulsion. So tell me, my little dandy. You're addressing me? I am. Tell me straight. Just how far have you gotten with her? What? Not even held hands? That's worrisome. You're making the red worry. Women are fickle beasts. Another fellow comes a-courting and they're apt to flit off. Take me. If I saw an opening to chat her up, I'd have her in my pocket in minutes. <laughs> seconds. What? Excuse me? Are you really gonna flirt while I'm standing right here? If you'll pardon my saying, I doubt Edea fancies shallow old men. <laughs> no need to get heated, lad. True, you have your youth and innocence and baseless confidence. As well you should. Stay just as you are. We'll see if she does the same. Just remember, it's not innocence a girl wants. It's a thrill. That and a refined technique. Technique? Ah. Oh. But I'm afraid you'll have to study up on that one alone. <laughs> Take care. Uh, oh. Idea, just what manner of technique do you look for in a man? Sorry, I'm pretending I misheard you. Is it clever conversation? A gift for cooking? Swords and sorcery? And kissing? Right. Now I'm pretending I didn't hear you at all. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That was kind of fun. We met a new dude. Uh, wow. Alright, so moving on here. It's time for the contest. Beauty pageant. Next up, we have entrant number five. It's Mary. <laughs> Just like a catwalk. Cool. Oh, my heart's pounding. And I'm in the audience. It's like the speech at Anshim all over again. I nearly forgot to breathe. She'll do fine. And we're here just in case. She better not Stay trip. Right isn't the only thing worrying. I can only I heard, imagine that's going to happen, just like Sumia and Fire Emblem Awakening. Today. So why is Anya's entry at number nine? Where are the other three, you mean? Maybe they panicked at the last minute? Hmm. I suppose it's possible. The lovely Mary. Next up, number nine. On yes. Oh, here she comes. Yes. Anya. 
Agnes! Agnes! You're on! Go! Huh? Entrant number nine? It's still your turn! Come on down! Oh, great! Sorry! What was she thinking with that bland get-up? She's clearly delusional. I almost feel bad. Almost. <laughs> I didn't come all the way here for this. Boo! Boo! What? What are you guys talking about? She looks great in that. Can't be helped. Hers was an appeal wholly out of keeping with the contest's theme. Perhaps I ought to have worn the bikini after all. You were just fine. You said what you came to say. The idea was never to win the contest. If Olivia heard that, I'm certain your words will move her. I hope so. Hmm? I wonder what... A letter? Wait, is it from... Uh, Olivia! She wrote me a letter! See? You got through to her just fine! So, what does it say? I heard about your appearance at the festival, though I was not able to attend. It puts my heart to ease knowing that you have also weathered this terrible crisis. I wish to meet with you as well, Agnes. My one true friend. But I fear I am not free to move about. Behind the ruins to the west lies the hidden village of the Crystal Orthodoxy. You will find me there. Do not allow this letter to be seen by any eyes but yours. Not even the matriarch can know. Awfully cautious, isn't she? 
If I trust anyone in Florum, it's the Matriarch. They must be after her too then, as we feared. <sighs> Let us go, straight away. West to the ruins and the hidden village beyond. I trust you heard that, Victor. Most clearly, Victoria. Then we've little need for the Wind Vestal to continue living, hmm? Indeed, though if I may, it seems they make for the Vestal of Water's side. Yes, and? They may serve us better as live baits. We let them go, give chase, and net two Vestals at once. Fine, fine. So in the end, it was I who took the festival crown. Unsurprising, but amusing enough. Wouldn't you say, Victor? Just so, Victoria. Just so. Okay, Victor and Victoria, huh? So one is a witch, one's a doctor. Together they make witch doctor! Uh, yeah, I guess I'm staying here. I don't know, there was like a blue side quest exclamation mark right on top, so let's find out. Just what are these techniques? I stewed on it all night and came up blank. Next time I see that red character, I'm getting a demonstration, one way or another. <laughs> okay. Kind of funny. Alright, so where do we go? We go all the way to the east. And we have our combat turned off, I presume. Yep, that's good. That we can blaze right over there. And see if we could find um, something. Although that was a pretty long cutscene. Run! Do we remember these ruins? Was it all the way over here? Or this is where we need to go. Huh. Twilight Ruins. Okay. Alright, party chat. Anxiety. Hmm. Is something wrong? Do you remember the girl who won at the festival? Sure, the little one, right? I have no interest in little girls. There's nothing sexy about a twig that's yet to bud. I can't imagine how she won. I don't think Adia was asking for all that. I could swear I've seen her somewhere before. I just can't place where. So was it the witch Victoria that won the contest? I don't know. Alright, let's go 50%. Um, and what is this? Oh, it opens up different doors. Cool! Actually, I should have just not hit that. Because I see a treasure chest in the other room. Alright, let's find out what enemies are in here. Let's examine them, and then we'll turn uh, enemy encounters off. High potion, not bad. Cool. Twilight Ruins. Alright, it seems pretty linear from here. Not too many branching paths. There we go. We open this one to get the treasure chest, and then close it to go on through. That's what I'm assuming it looks like. There we go, perfect. Ether! Close the door behind us. Alright, we got ten minutes to beat this whole dungeon. We could do it. Here we go. Oh, our first battle. Who's here? We're not on auto, are we? What the Minotaur? Oh, man, the Minotaur was like the boss in the Imp. Oh, my gosh. The Minotaur was the boss in um, the demo version.
I don't know what he's weak against, but let's uh, let's default. Three thousand weak against Earth. Earth and light. Oh my! Oh my! What are you guys doing? Come here. I got some Earth for you. Just in case. And then you can... I don't have any Earth... Oh, I do have an Earth Summon, that's right! Uh, next time. Really? Double damage?! Oh, that sucked! <laughs> oh. Ouch! Now I don't get 14 job points, but I got a Demon Tail, that's cool. Dude, are you kidding? Man! Okay. Let's pretend that didn't happen. Now we know what they're weak against, so we're just gonna annihilate them right off the bat. Frickin' Minotaur. Double damage. Alright, got a remedy. Wow, Tiz got owned right there. <laughs> Alright, let's go downstairs. Wow, that Minotaur, man. Okay, let's go up. Oh, treasure box. Excellent. 500 pig, great. Alright, moving downward. Oh, not another Minotaur. Oh, wow, I don't have an aqua light thing. Oh, what the... Fear? Dread, what is that? Um... Well, we can actually do a, one of two things. Well, let's heal this Dread. Oh, I can't even attack. But I can use my abilities. That's kind of cool. And I can't... No, I can't Brave. I can only do one attack at a time. That stinks. Let me just mug this stupid thing. No, no, I need to, uh, examine this Aqua Lantern. Uh, I'll attack this Imp. Wait. I can't imbue myself with, um... No, he's only weak against Earth. Okay, that's lame. I'll just regular attack him. And then let's summon... Gerda Blue Lou. Lightning inorganic. Okay, that didn't kill him. Alright, we can just kill these guys now. Yeah, you could just hit them. That'd be fine. Because these things are going to die anyway. <laughs> wow, these enemies are getting tougher! Dang, the Aqua Lantern, huh? So we got Minotaur, we got Imps, we got Aqua Lanterns. Uh, let me see, do I need to heal? Yeah. Okay, moving on. Let's check out this area. Okay, there's a red door, that's interesting. Maybe I should just open... No, this path is all the way up. Good. Zeus's Wrath, awesome. So the red door probably opens up the one that's across from it. Minotaur! Oh, you're mine. Come here. Everyone attack! And let's summon, man. There we go. Got him. I just had to unleash all of Tiz's attacks on him, and that was it. Alright, easy. Did 
the moon. I wonder if these symbols mean anything. Like there was a, a sun symbol, there's a moon symbol. Should I be remembering these? What? Okay, so that's a dead end. There's one more treasure chest. There it is. It's right around the corner. Got it. Who's here? Imps? Get these imps out of here. Really takes three hits for these imps. And knock him out. <laughs> that seemed like a waste. Uh, to use Gerda Blue Lou. A thousand peak. Alright, we're gonna turn off battles right now just so we can finish up. And concentrate. Save all of our magic power for the boss. Okay, let's see. Okay, so puzzles here. Let's go the obvious route first. Okay, obvious route is probably the route out of here, so I need to actually get those treasure chests. Let's see, what's open, what's closed? Um, this is open, so let's open this. And it's going to open the other one, right? Oh, I see, I see. Got it, it's going to open a cross. Here we go, get this. A birch bow. Cool. Is that strong? Birch bow? Anything? 50% more damage to demon kind and flyer monsters. Cool. Huh. I'm probably... I'm sure it's not as strong as my angel's bow. Yeah, definitely not as strong. But still cool. Cool to have. Alright, close the door on your way out. Easy, easy. Uh, we're going to go this way. So close this door. Only to open the other one. But then how do we get to the other side? And open that red door. Oh no, it's blue. Okay. Okay, so blue locks that out. All too easy. Got it. Hermes Sandals. What is that? Hermes Sandals. Uh, plus agility when equipped. Where's agility by 10? Okay. That's kind of cool. Oh, yeah. Gotta close the doors on my way out. Almost forgot. Man, this dungeon seems to be a long one. Too bad that cutscene at the beginning. Man, uh, I don't know. I'm like on the fence about these really long cutscenes. I think they're kind of drawn out. Alright, let's see. Alright, moving on. Anything over here? Yes, this is the red door. Go through the red door. Get the red treasure. Got an ether. Nice. Okay, and we got one more treasure to find. Oh, it's this locked one. Come on. I hate those locked treasures. I need them. Okay, going through the... Oh, man, this is like... <laughs> In order to get all the treasures, you've got to play all these crazy door games. All right, playing door games. All right, let's just play this door game first. See what red does. Okay, that's fine. We needed that because we already got the treasure right in front of that. So we'll go in here, grab this treasure chest, which was hidden behind the wall. Didn't think I'd see that, did you? Okay, we can do this one because we're done with that area. Easy. All right, then we go yellow because we're done with this area. All right, pretty logical. I mean, nothing too crazy and outlandish with these puzzles. 
Alright, let's see. Uh, we need to actually open this to get that treasure chest right behind there. And I want to say we're going to be done, because like three floors of these door puzzles. Dark Charm. What is that? Dark Charm. Uh, resist dark whenever you have it. That's cool. It's always good to have like those elemental charms, just in case your characters don't have like an abate um, support ability. Like, Tiz didn't have a bait water and he got owned by it, but if I had a water charm, that would have been something different. Alright, here we go. Saving. We're getting ready for the boss. Alright, well, since we're at that 30 minute mark, let's end it off right over here, and we're gonna have to find out what's above those stairs on the next episode. It's gonna be a good one, so guys, let me know what you thought about the episode in the comment section below, and don't forget to hit that like button. If you guys are interested in more... Bravely Default, check out my channel where you'll find the Let's Play, the demo Let's Play. You'll find Narendra Glitch and AR cards. So, everything's there. Links are in the descriptions. Check them out. And don't forget to subscribe for more Bravely Default. Talk to you later. See ya.